because everybody wants to know, like, because you guys are like very knowledgeable on the sport and stuff like this. Name, I'll take three fighters you think that are just have incredible potential in the UFC right now. Three guys. Well, Chris Weidman mm -hmm. is one. So Chris Weidman. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Yeah. What about you? No, we were actually we were talking about this yes. last night. Yes. And were you? Chris yeah. Weidman is is the yeah, is, is the, so he's the next guy. Yeah. And we were talking about Rosemar Palliares also. Yes. That you know it's going to be a good match against uh, uh, Anderson, Anderson Silva, Silva because right. you know he's dangerous. Yes. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's style. kind of like paper scissors rock. But the problem is that you know the styles doesn't match in other fighters. Like he lost to to a, a wrestler. Right. And then it, it kinds of put him back. Right, but I think if he goes, he has a good chance to really. To so now, is who's I didn't know this. Who's more is is scheduled to fight Anderson? Is he? No, no, no. no okay, no, so no. We, we're, we're dreaming about the fight. Oh, the potential match, match, match and what could be. It's funny how some styles just create problems. Get but I want to see. I want to see Renan Baran with um, Dominic because right. Oh, yeah. You know, that's the fight that we, we all want to be yeah. champion. But I think he's he's potentially up there. You know, yeah. who are they? Around, around. Yeah, he's nasty. Now, speak of Dominic Cruz and all this stuff going on, what's going on with this whole scandal with this with Lloyd Irvin and, and his team? I mean, it's... You know, he's, he, I, I think he's sad to mm -hmm. the community mm -hmm. because, um, you know, we, we have a background. My family, my whole family is in martial arts. We have uh, ethics, we have our, our loyalty. And these people, they don't have ethics. They don't have loyalties. Right. And, and that's what I, what I give, you know, I give... Uh, uh, speeches in Brazil about right. my life, about you know my, my star story, and I always say that every father should put their kids in martial arts. Right. But before you do that, you should see the instructors or the owner of the club because, however he appears, to how he conducts himself, conducts yeah. himself outside. That's how your your kids gonna learn. If right. he's a fighter, he keeps fighting outside, and he's not a good person, and that. Yeah. Your kid's gonna be the same. So you have to see who you're putting your kids with. And unfortunately, you know, Lloyd is, is a great martial artist, but... Mm -hmm. He's having issues. He's having a lot of issues. You know, he had a problem when he was 20 years old. Right. Uh, with rape, and now he's coming back it's again. Coming back. So, you know, it's kind of uh, in here, you know. Right. In you, three you, can, yeah. you can change, you know, you can change, you can take the guy from the ghetto, but you can't take the ghetto from the guy. So. Good point. And stuff like this. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's, that's like one of the big things that, you know, in the MMA world right now, unfortunately. But, uh, what I think we had the problem you see in Brazil back on the end, late 80s, early 90s mm -hmm. with the Pit Boys. Right. That's the name that we have in Brazil. Okay. So specifically, specifically Rio and Sao Paulo. Mm -hmm. So, Jiu-Jitsu instructors, black belts, high-level fighters going to nightclubs, mm -hmm. beating up people, right? Trying to recruit them to become their students, right? So they go to the nightclub, they control the environment, right? So if you're not their student, they're gonna beat you up, right? One day you're gonna come, you're gonna become their student, pay tuition, right? And then you, you somehow you buy your protection, right? Okay. And I was fighting against that all the time. Right. I was giving an interview and fighting, saying, you know why? Mm -hmm. I'm a good guy. I don't fight on the street. Right. Please come to train with me to learn what is jiu-jitsu. Right. And yeah. now I have to do the same thing. To just keep saying, you know why? You, just you know, on. there is there is some some uh, 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 code around this. You know, Lloyd Irvin School. There is this type of problem. You know, and if you're willing to take that, right. Please pay tuition for him right. and train with him. Right. But if you were, you can learn jujitsu in a different way. Yeah, and, and you know it's funny because it's like, I mean, we all, you know, I mean, we're all dads, you know, <laughs> so, and it's like, uh, you know, you look back and you, you, we all, you always have your wild side when you're growing up doing crazy things and stuff like this, but you know when it, there's a time to shut it off. Yes. You know what I mean? It really is and, uh, and. But see, a lot of people control right. their thing. Just when you get to control, it's hard for you to let go. Right. And, you know, that's a problem. I hope all this is not true, but yeah. if it is... And we all know people. the psychological control that we can use and the power that we have right. and the martial art give it to us. Right. You know, and the respect, mm -hmm. right? So it's because it puts you in a position where you can manipulate if you choose to go down that path. Yes. 
Yeah. And we know that. Right. We know that. Yeah. I know for a fact that I can manipulate people. Right. You know, through my words, through my respect mm -hmm. that I earn to people. Mm -hmm. And I use this power to make my student grow mm -hmm. and understand who they are. Right. Do you think you guys can manipulate my co-host George in uh, not being such a pain in my ass? mentally, physically. Right. But that's a good point. Like it, it, it's it's it's. I never looked at it that way, you know, obviously I'm, I'm not an instructor and uh, you, you get these people that really believe in you and they trust in you and yes. then you take advantage of it and, uh, yes. you know, yeah, that's unfortunate. It's, it's kind of a bullying at the same time, you know. Like, and that's what they use. That's, that's exactly what they use in most of the articles that I've read, yeah. you know, that it's, they felt like they were bullied, you know, yes. and, uh, manipulated. So. And there's a lot of people that are willing to take that, you know, I don't know their reason, if right. it's money, if it's support you know is appreciation you know as Mario says you know I don't know I we grew up we didn't have a lot of money right right and some people in Brazil has had less money than us right. and when we offered the opportunity for them are you gonna be you know on the street or you're gonna use Jiu Jitsu right as a leverage to grow up in your life so these people they do anything they want right and they, or they, they, what we want right. for them in order to learn Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. They use and we can means. use that. Right. And we did it. Yeah. And we don't know, I, we, I don't want to judge. Right. Right. I see from what happened to us that we could manipulate people easily. Right. And we didn't do it. Right. Instead, you know, uh, as you can see, people, you know, always writing appreciation uh, uh, a letter to us. Uh, uh, Facebook posts and right. everything, you know, and always positive. Yeah, everything I've heard ever come out of this school has been positive, you know, and I've been around, you know, what, it's been 18 years, 19 years since you started in Rockville? Well, you were in, <laughs> the, that, that's how far back I, <laughs> yeah. I had a buddy that you, But the good, the good thing is, you know, we work a lot with energy. Right. And I always say, positive energy, bring it to me. Right. Negative en energy, pass it by. Push it away. And I, you know, like I, I do some things, and if it hurts me or bothers me, I forget about it. Right. I don't keep putting that in my stomach because that's gonna become it, yeah, it's bad gonna be energy, and then I'm gonna attract more bad energy. So you always think about good energy, positive energy, and you're always gonna be fine. Right. Everything works out great when you have good thing to good stuff. And, yeah and you do good things for people and put and put those type of people around you as well yes. obviously you know like Morgan I keep calling you out man putting you on full blast <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys we're gonna wrap it up Mario thank you thank you Fernando thank, thank you. you guys um, check us out at grappling.com grappling.com everybody I'll have some logos in the back so you guys can find your way to oh we're not supposed to advertise right, <laughs> right. Yeah, 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 you guys can do as much advertising as you want anyway we're out of here cool. comical brash and yeah sometimes politically incorrect the uncut sports show non-traditional sports coverage delivered the way you like it by your uncensored co-hosts Kevin White and George Bedford